This is Cameron Choi bringing another episode of Azo TV, and today we're speaking to Dave Shepard from Netch, and he's going to tell us about their new TG209 F1 Libra TGA instrument. Thank you, Cam. Yes, this is our new version of the TG209 F1, the Libra. It has several new features over our former version of the instrument, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, a TGA means thermogravimetric analyzer. And what that means is we're measuring the mass change of a sample as a function of time or temperature. So in this instrument, we have a balance in the chassis. That, it rides below a furnace. And then we have a sample carrier that extends up into the furnace. We put our sample on that sample carrier and then we normally heat the sample and we measure the mass loss steps that occur as we heat the sample. Okay. Loading the sample is very easy in a top loading design. As you can see here, all I need to do is open the, the top and the sample carrier now comes up to the top of the furnace. I can then load the sample very easily. And just by two buttons, close the furnace. So there's no fragile hang down wire, there's no uh, horizontal beam that can break. And when you're loading the sample, the sample carrier is actually disconnected from the balance. So you cannot damage the balance while you're loading the sample. Okay. Once this is closed, it's now vacuum tight. So that means if we have an oxygen sensitive material, we could pull vacuum and backfill with inert gas so that you don't get unwanted oxidation during the, uh, during the experiment. We could also um, run an experiment under vacuum or reduce pressure if we wanted to say, for example, separate a high boiling plasticizer from thermal decomposition in a polymer. By reducing the pressure, we lower the, we lower the, the boiling point of the plasticizer so it will be separated better from uh, the degradation of the polymer. And Dave, you said the, the new model here had some new features compared to the previous model. Can you tell us about those? Certainly. The, uh, the furnace is a new ceramic furnace that has uh, the advantage that it can go to 1100 degrees Celsius, which is uh, higher than the normal 1000 degrees C furnace that most TGAs can go to. The ceramic furnace also heats faster, up to 200 K per minute, and it's cor more corrosion resistant. So in, in TGA, you're going to be reducing a lot of reaction byproducts that, that, that come off the sample, and ceramic furnace will be much more corrosion resistant to any, any uh, corrosive uh, gases that you might be formed. Another advantage of the, uh, of the system, or another new feature, is we do not, do not need to do a baseline correction. In a normal TGA, there's always some uh, buoyancy effect that you have to do a correction run and then subtract out. In our new TGA, we've, we've totally modeled the baseline behavior under different temperature ramps, different purge gases, so you don't have to do a baseline run. And that saves a lot of time in your analysis because if you want to change conditions, you can just start your experiment right away and not have to do a baseline run beforehand. Um, in addition, there's other features of the instrument that we, we've had for a while and are also still included. One of which is what we call CDTA capability. And with CDTA, what we have is our sample thermocouple actually touches the sample crucible. So we can detect if there's any, um, if your sample absorbs energy or gives off energy during the experiment. So that gives a, a low, a qualitative DSC type measurement. So you can tell whether your sample is going through some enthalpy change, maybe a melting. Um, but you can also use that to calibrate the temperature because we, of, the, of the TGA because we can use metal melting standards and calibrate the system exactly like you would on a DSC, just using metal melting standards and creating a calibration table. Okay, and the design of the, the furnace there, the way the, the interlock works, is that, is that the same as before? The furnace design is the same as before where it, it, it locks and uh, becomes vacuum tight. Yes. Okay, because it just looks like, a, like a, the design is quite robust where you don't have 
delicate hang downs and things like that that, that are you know the sort of things you can break by accident when loading samples and things like that exactly it's just like loading a DSC you're just putting a sample crucible on the platform so you don't have to worry about damaging it uh, if for some reason the sample carrier would be damaged you can just replace it yourself you just pull it out and it has a quick disconnect and you can just put another one right in so you would have uh, essentially zero downtime if, if in fact something would happen to the sample carrier. All right then Dave, thanks very much for taking a few minutes to tell us about the new TG209 F1 Libra TGA instrument. If anyone wants more information about that they can find that on your website. At www.nets.com. All right Dave, thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about the new TGA. Thank you Cam.